Hello everyone, uh, welcome back to our channel and hello to gardens fans everywhere. We are at yet another gardens. But it's not just yet another garden, it's actually London's largest UNESCO World Heritage Site. So, come and explore Kew Gardens with us. Yo, we're here at the Botanical Garden. I'll be running up that hill. No, Wuthering Heights. Out on the world. It's me, I'm Kathy, I'm come on. So we are now lost <laughs> in Kew Gardens. We are miles away from where we need to be. We can't get out, we can't escape. Please, we're stuck. <laughs> well. I have to be a reminder. She didn't. Do you know what this place is? What? This place is beautiful. Beautiful! <laughs> heavy door. World's heaviest door. The world's heaviest door. World's London's biggest UNESCO. Oh god, it's warm here. It is warm. <laughs> Mama. Nice though. It is nice. This is oh, the yeah. palm house. Then. In this glass house yeah. are all the palms. It's a palm all house. Palms. And it's also home to apparently the world's oldest pot plant. Oh. Which we haven't yet found no, it. We haven't. There's, not, there's quite a few of them, but we haven't found the oldest one yet. But it's around here somewhere. Very high temperature at the top. Very high, okay. Stay hydrated, but don't drink the steam. Make sure you're fit enough. Tell me what it's like at the top. Bye. Bye. I'm glad I had a shower this morning. <laughs> Poor mama. Whew. That is warm. Right. Go on, what's this about then? <laughs> when they when they say it's warm up here, I'm not kidding. <laughs> Gee. Where in amongst the kind of tops of the plants, aren't we? There's the bamboo here and, and, the and all the other plants. plants. All the other plants there. Climatized yet? No. No. This is like being abroad where like It's the genuine London experience. Because it's usually about this sort of temperature in London, isn't it? Where the sweat drips off of you. Yeah. Pretty cool though. It is pretty cool. Can't take the heat anymore. I'm off. <laughs> We're back at the bottom. Spiky. Time for some fresh air. Just us to come and there's wall-to-wall -wall school tours. Thousands of children. We can't get out, we can't escape! Please, please, we're stuck! <sighs> oh, we've lost Claire. Never mind. Every man for themselves. Should we go into another glass house? Yeah, he's going to that one. Yeah. Work up a sweat. Again. This place is cool. Full of water lilies. Spotting 
lots of interest. I am, yeah. Lots of really nice water lilies. But I just need to get down a bit lower. Hmm. You blend in very well today. Do I? Hmm. You're well, camouflaged. Yeah. That's what I thought I wanted to be. The lady of the water lilies. There's a nice shot through here of this lily here. Oh yeah, I see what you're doing. Yeah. That was cool, wasn't it? That was really cool. I liked it. Well, hot but cool. Hot but cool. Yeah, very hot. Okay, where to next then, tall guide? I don't know, wherever's closest. Do you know what this place is? What? This place is beautiful. Beautiful! This is the Broad Walk, hence called because it is broad. one with the flowers. We'll highlight where Claire is in this shot. She's camouflaged again. I am. So a little bit of factual history for you. Um, Kew Gardens was founded in 1759 um, by Princess Augusta who was the daughter, mother, no, mother, of, mother of King George, of George, King George III. III. And, and she created nine acres of botanical gardens. Now it's over 300. Yes. It's over 300 acres, near And then it opened to the public um, in and around about the 1850s. It's been open ever since. Yeah. And it's a great day out. If you like gardens, and we like gardens. We do. We've now taken you to the Botanical Garden in Edinburgh, uh -huh. the Royal Botanical Garden in Pisa. And now we're in London. And now we're in London. The Kew Botanical Garden. So follow us if you like Botanical Gardens. Botanical Garden. So we're off to the hive next. This place, it's the world's largest seed conservation project. Oh, okay. That's interesting. Bet you didn't know that. But anyway, come on, stop nope. jibber jabbing. Yep. Off to the hive. Go <laughs> to this hive. It's boring. Yeah, no. So we're in the hive, aren't we? This is, this has a thousand flickering LED lights, which puts our Christmas tree to shame, doesn't it? It's a hive of activity. It's a hive of activity, yeah, very good. Um, I think the, the recordings that we can hear are a kind of live simulation or, or some, sort of, some sort of representation of what's happening in the beehives Although around the garden. Although it does sound a bit like they're all playing bagpipes. <laughs> Yeah, it sounds like <laughs> Bonnie Scotland should start playing at any moment. Yeah. But we're underneath the hive at the moment and we're going to have a little look in and around it. Um, but yeah, it's quite a cool structure. The structure is uh, meant to represent the importance of pollination, which is something that's quite close to our hearts, isn't it? We, de we design, I say design, we've planted our garden up to include species which are very good for pollinators and bees. Bees and butterflies. Um, so there's lots of lavenders and wildflowers we're trying to grow, sweet peas. Um, we say trying to grow, it yeah. really is, it's trying. Onwards to the hive. I'm absolutely buzzing for this. How is it honey? I'm trying to think of all the different bee jokes yeah. that you can. I'm doing quite well. I'm buzzing. I've, I've done that one already. Tough look. <laughs> that one's taken. Okay, so that is what it would be like if you're a bee, bee. <laughs> in a beehive. Yeah. That's why it's called the hive. Yeah, we had um, a school group arrive and the teacher explained it much more succinctly than we ever did. So oh, maybe we should hire her to. You're to giving it away. Do pieces to camera. You're giving away. Oh, look. I'm picking up good vibrations. <laughs> no, 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 no. That's not bee related. I'm picking up good vibrations. 
please give us a subscription. Nice. <laughs> bye bye, Hive. Where to next, Marco Polo? Marco. Um. Marco. <laughs> Who's Marco? Marco Polo. He's a, a navigator, an explorer. And there's a game where you have to go, Marco. And you're swimming around a pool and you've got your eyes closed and somebody say Marco. And then the other guy you're meant to find is, is answering Polo. And then you've got to find them by that. Marco. Polo. Actually, it's the wrong way around. You're, you're meant to say Marco. Marco. Polo. <laughs> Christ, nice. Oh, Right, come on, where are we going? We were here at the hive. We were here at the hive. We we've, are still here at the hive. We've done the border. The border, yep, the Greek border. Great we broad could do the walk. Prince of Wales Conservatory. That's true, yeah. Should we go to the Prince yeah. of Wales Conservatory? Yeah, and then we've Princess. done that kind of corner, really. We've done that corner, and then we've got the rest of this to do. Yeah. <laughs> it's like Kate Bush in Wuthering Heights. What? I'll be running up that hill. No, Wuthering Heights. Up. Oh, what's the Wuthering Heights one? That's the... Um, Out on the water. That's me, I'm Cuffy, I've come home. So here at Kew Gardens, there's a time capsule that Sir David Attenborough... And for those who don't in, know who David Attenborough is, he is a famous British uh, presenter, broadcaster, and naturalist. That is Sir David Attenborough. That's Dave. Then David Attenborough is a Sir David Attenborough. A to give him his proper title is a living legend. Mm. So if you do not know who he is, please go and research him. Yeah. Take a look in the mirror. Just yeah, just stop watching our video and go and watch David Attenborough. He's much better. So what about David Attenborough? So in 1985, he put a time capsule here. Not here, but in Kew Gardens somewhere. And he put in basically all basic foods. Um, seeds, wasn't it? It was seeds. a collection of, yeah, so a collection of plants. And it will be opened up in two, uh, 2085. It's a long time from now. And basically everything he's put in it, he thinks will be extinct by mm. the time they open or it rare. back up again. Or Just very, very rare. rare. Yeah. Yeah. Sad, depressing times. But... Yeah. But yeah, take a look at Sir David Attenborough. Amazing guy. I'd love to meet him if I could. Please comment down below if you do actually know who David Attenborough is, because I'm a strong believer that everybody out there knows who Sir David Attenborough is. Stephen does not think that any of you will know who Sir David Attenborough oh. is. I did get a little bit distracted with all of the damsel flags. Mm. They were mating and laying eggs. They were. This is the Princess of Wales Conservatory. So I'm going to have a little look inside here. More hot buildings yeah. on this hot summer's day. So as I was telling you about David Attenborough's time capsule, it's actually here. There you go. Onwards to the tropical rainforest. Mm. No, it's pretty cooler in here, more humid. The hissing you can hear is the kind of the water droplets. Fine mist of water which emulates the rainforest environment. The Princess of Wales Conservatory comprises several different zones, emulating different climates from around the world. Behind me is the world's smallest water lily, um, which apparently was um, 
in the wild, completely extinct. Um, in the in the 1980s, um, there was a German botanist who collected a sample of this from Rwanda and brought it to Kew and they cultivated it. It became extinct in 2008, um, so they managed to save this. Um, <laughs> her fish just jumped. They saved this um, species of water lily, which is quite interesting. Apparently one was stolen from here. I don't know how you quite walk out with a water lily without being detected, but yeah, just don't know. Well, that was the Princess of Wales Conservatory. It was lovely. Yeah. So it comprises of quite a few different sort of sections. Yeah, it's divided up into, into various zones, temperate displays, um, rainforests, carnivorous plants. Carnivorous plants. plants. Fun. Um, so you can see it's all different, different sections. I think it's lunchtime. For once, it's me not saying it's lunchtime. It is actually eight lunchtime. minutes past three. So it's way past yeah. lunchtime. But it's actually not me that's hungry this time, it's you. Mm. It's amazing, but I will do my thing. It's lunchtime. We're in the Queen's Garden. We are. Opened by the Queen. We just celebrated her platinum jubilee. Platty jubes. Platty jubes, yeah, the platty jubes. Behind us is Q Palace. Behind you now is Q Palace. Behind me. Q Palace. So if you are coming here, um, they recommend on your ticket three hours to yeah. get around. We've been here about five hours, haven't we? And so we've only actually done one corner. One corner of the map. So you do actually need all day, but you could spend all day here. It's, it's you could spend multiple days. You could spend multiple days here, yeah. Yeah, this is lovely. Should we have a picture in the... Um, look up. Yeah. In the look. I don't fall over. I reckon that was an Echium pinanana's. What did you say it was? Echium pinanana. I know his stuff. Yeah! Echium Pinanana. Giant Viper's bug loss. Then our day took a turn, or several wrong turns, for the worse. Walk, walk, walk. Go, that's go, private. Go. That's private. <laughs> so now I think we've got to head that way for is the, that the other orangery. Thing. That isn't the orangery. That isn't the orangery. No. Do you think we're at the Bentford gate? Could be. If we are, then we're miles away from where we need to be. Oh dear. As soon as you've got the map, that sounds like a you problem. Sounds like a youth problem. I don't know where we are. You've basically got us lost, haven't you? I have, I have sort of got us lost. So over lunch I worked out where we were going to go. In what order? I like to plan things. Um, this is why you should never have a plan. No, because then we went in... goes to plan. We went into a garden that wasn't on my planned list. Now I don't know where we are. Mm. That's the problem with having a plan. Oh look, there's a sign. Oh, Let's good. consult the sign. Join us next time when Stephen and Claire get lost at Kew Gardens. Uh, that away, because it's a signpost. That way. No, that way. Confusion. Confusion. We don't know where we're going. It's lovely Confusion. here, though. Confusion. We've subsequently got lost, um, but now we're on the right path again to get to... Um, I can't remember what they're called now. Little, little mini gardens. There's a bonsai garden. <laughs> little mini garden. Here. Little mini gardens with mini trees. Bonsai. Bonsai house. Oh. Japanese art form. It's mad that we've we've got one of these in our garden at Asa Armata. Oh. It's just the way it's been kind of tr Treat. shaped and cultivated. Yeah. It's like a mini tree. Maybe you can shape ours like that. It's so cute. That's a bit like wiry and. Just a stick. Japanese larch. Japanese maple. Maple. That's Ace of Palmartum again. Yeah. Just. I'm in my happy place. I tried to grow bonsais and just no chance at all. I don't have the patience. I bought you a bonsai one. You did, and I killed it. You killed I'd it. Buy them from IKEA, I killed them. Yeah. I'll never be a bonsai specialist.
So we are in the evolution of plants. Um, chartering the early history of plants from ferns to asterids. It's overgrown, they need to trim that. Asterids, rosids, things that started to appear 120 million years ago. Um, and there must have been insect life, I suppose. To pollinate things. Yeah, to pollinate things, because a lot of these have flowers on them. Um, yeah. It was time for me to become the navigator and see if I could do a better job of it than Claire could. Where do we want to be? Over the other side. Where are we going? Um, okay, so... We want to ideally head back to where we came from. Oh, so Palm House then. Because we came from sort of the Palm House when we first got here, so we want to head in the opposite direction, yeah. like that direction. <laughs> you looking confused. Confused. I'm so confused. I've now given the map over to Stephen. I reckon he doesn't know where he's going. It's a scenic route. Is it? Yeah. When he says that, he basically means it's the route that we're going because he's got lost. Blue, blue, blue. She doubts my sense of direction. Yes, it's because I've blindly followed you for five years, getting lost with you. We always make it to our destination. Eventually. It's not about the destination, it's about the journey to get there. Mm, very good. Walk 500 miles of the Walk 500. Just to get up the Great Pagoda in the Kew Gardens. It was nearly time for the part we had most been looking forward to. This is a spectacular highlight of Kew Gardens. Great Pagoda. 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 The Great Pagoda. Pagoda. So, it shuts at... Half past four. Half past four. Last entry, four o'clock. And we're at five o'clock. I've got an interesting fact for you. Have you? Did you know that over two thirds of the people who watch these videos aren't subscribed? Oh, no. It's didn't not, know that. It's not good enough. I mean, we put all this effort in. We go and visit these really nice places for you. And you lot don't subscribe. He's on a rant. I'm off. Oh, it's just... It, I don't know why we bother. In fact, let, let's sod it. Let's just... Now I'm dancing around my living room I get drunk on the thought of you with I It's time for our fourth? Fourth or fifth? Fourth? Tomorrow. Multiple glass houses. Um, our fourth and final glass house of the day, which is the temperate glass house. I miss you, miss and be like you used to, yeah, like you used to. This uh, first glass house, this temperate glass house, emulates the conditions in Africa. It's nice and cool. Ooh, entering the South Octagon. Built in 1861. There's your facts for you. Yeah, with your ghost. Yeah, we're in the, um, like call it, I guess you'd call it a walkway, wouldn't you, of the temperate glass house? The gangway. Gangway, yeah. Feels like I'm in, like, a, um, the roof of a train station for some reason. It does a bit, but, yeah. Yeah, it does a bit. Very cool. Oh, look at that.
So thanks for watching. That was our little um, tour of Kew Gardens. We've just given you a little taster of what Kew Gardens is about. Yeah. So if you're ever in this area, check come and out. have a little walk yeah. around. Yeah, check it out. We've, we've probably run out of time to show you everything. But um, yeah, it's been, it's been a really fun day. Um, if you've enjoyed this video, then please consider subscribing to our channel. Hit the like button. And join us for a video coming really soon. Oh, but my head, back of all of my head, back of all. <laughs> if you don't subscribe, I'm going to come here and I'm going to knock your block off. Stop attacking the camera. <laughs> yeah, how to you? Hello. If you don't subscribe, multiple me will come after you. Ah, scary. Hello, fans of gardens everywhere. We're at another gardens. Yet another gardens. Not just another garden. This is London's largest UNESCO World Heritage Site. <laughs> is it? Oh yeah, it says so in your notes. And if you're watching this video in, in, in 1985, you wouldn't be. And if you're watching this video in 2085, then hit the like button. How old will I be in 1985? In 1985, in you would be minus 10. In, not 1985, in... 2085, you would 20 be 90. Oh, so I might actually... Yeah, you, you'll make it. I'll be long gone. Well, I might not make it. Yeah. I live a rock star lifestyle. Yeah, of course you do love it. Oh, interesting fact. You have to do it in front of people. Oh, okay. Yes, you have to do a walk and talk this way. You're doing it in front of millions of people on YouTube. I stink. <laughs> <laughs> and why do you stink, Claire? Because it's hot. Feeling hot, hot, hot. We're just taking a moment to enjoy and appreciate the sounds of the hive. So. I reckon they've all left the hive at this point because we can't hear any of the the bagpipes <laughs> or the harmonic. Oh, the oh, uh, Bob Dylan's back. back. Yeah, Bob Dylan's back. It's quite menacing. He's gonna get ya. Did you also know that this is the world's largest something rather? What's in this glass house then? Tour guide? Tour guide, Tour so guide. in this glass house is the palm house. Um, in the glass house is the palm house. Yeah. It's <laughs> contained within. There's a yeah. glass house within a glass house. <laughs> 30 <laughs> notes. It came over. She's Here. tour guide in training. I think you're putting me on the spot. Should we do this bit again? <laughs> Let me read my note. <laughs> we're, in the, we're in the main block of... Uh, 30 seconds into the recording. We're in the main block of the temperate... Um, temperate greenhouse. Temperate glass house, I should say, not greenhouse. Um, this is cool. It's a bit cooler than the palm house, isn't it, this walk? <laughs> it's starting to really hurt my arm.